Russia is currently engaged in a major shift of its aviation sector, which involves a boost of domestic aircraft production and the reduction of its reliance on foreign suppliers. A new milestone in this effort is the construction of a specialized service and maintenance complex for the MC-21, the most recent iteration of Russian passenger aircraft. Denis Posler, the governor of the Sverdlovsk region, disclosed the initiative. Ural Airlines, one of Russia's biggest carriers, is expected to contribute to the project's creation, which is expected to cost approximately 10 billion rubles. The MC-21 is anticipated to serve as the backbone of Russia's mid-range aviation fleet in the future. This facility is anticipated to become one of the most critical infrastructure elements supporting its operation. The complex is expected to span approximately 15,000 square meters, as per the regional administration. The primary hangar structure will occupy approximately 8,000 square meters and is intended to accommodate full-cycle maintenance operations on the MC-21. This part covers critical operations that guarantee the fleet's uninterrupted operation, including component refurbishment, landing gear maintenance, and avionics repair. Equipment storage and spare parts warehouses will occupy the remaining space. It is expected that these warehouses will contain both domestically produced parts and strategically essential imported components that are still required during the transitional period to full localization. The estimated investment of 10 billion rubles underscores the strategic significance and scope of the initiative. Russia is currently engaged in the active development of its aviation sector in response to the urgent need for an independent aerospace ecosystem as global supply chains continue to be unpredictable. The MC-21 program has been established as a fundamental component of Russia's aviation autonomy. This aircraft is a modern narrow-body passenger jet intended for short and medium-haul itineraries with a maximum distance of approximately 5,100 kilometers. It is expected that it will eventually replace older aircraft such as the Tu-54 and Tu-204 families and be used to service both domestic and international destinations. A comprehensive and dependable maintenance network is necessary due to the aircraft's significance to the national transportation infrastructure. The establishment of a specialized maintenance center in the Urals addresses many strategic obstacles. It reduces the challenges associated with transporting aircraft long distances for repair and minimizes operational reliance on foreign service infrastructure. It enables speedier servicing by minimizing downtime due to its proximity to routes operated by Ural Airlines and other Russian carriers. It expedites technological developments within the aeronautical supply chain of Russia by concentrating manufacturing opportunities and expertise near one of the country's primary industrial regions. This initiative is instrumental in the establishment of a nationwide support structure for the MC-21. It also indicates long-term confidence in the aircraft's operational and production future. Russia has long recognized the Sverdlovsk region as a technological and industrial hub. The region is home to a well-developed transportation network, key educational institutions, and significant factories and engineering facilities. One notable example is the Ural Federal University, URFU, which has forged partnerships with numerous industrial sectors. The decision to build the complex in this location guarantees both engineering support and logistical efficiency. Its central location within the nation reinforces its status as a national center. The Urals could receive aircraft from various regions for scheduled and unscheduled maintenance. The initiative also capitalizes on the substantial presence of Ural Airlines in the region. Upon the aircraft's entry into full service, it is probable that the airline will establish a significant portion of its MC-21 fleet at this facility. Governor Passler has underscored the necessity of adequately trained personnel to support technological infrastructure. 
This encompasses both flight personnel and technicians who are capable of operating the sophisticated technology employed in the MC-21. The collaboration with Ural Federal University is currently in progress, with an emphasis on the preparation of new engineers and the retraining of existing specialists. The installation of a specialized MC-21 pilot training simulator in the region is another significant aspect of the project. This simulator will allow flight personnel from a variety of Russian airlines to complete type rating and recurrent training without the need to travel abroad or rely on foreign training centers. These measures contribute to the establishment of a comprehensive aviation service ecosystem in the Urals. This includes aircraft maintenance, parts supply, technical expertise, and professional flight training. The MC-21 is not merely another passenger aircraft. It is Russia's most ambitious endeavor in decades to develop a genuinely competitive airliner in the global narrow-body market segment, currently dominated by the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. The aircraft features advanced composite materials and enhanced aerodynamics, in addition to modern avionics. It is being developed in versions that can accommodate 163 to 211 passengers. Russia has been swiftly substituting domestic technologies as a result of geopolitical pressures, although the initial prototypes utilized foreign components. It is anticipated that the MC-21-110, featuring Russian-made engines and equipment, will shortly initiate flight operations for certification testing. The first two serial aircraft are expected to be delivered toward the end of 2026, following certification completion. Not only will the aircraft's future success be contingent upon its manufacturing capacity, it will also rely on the flawless operation of its support infrastructure. Consequently, the necessity of such specialized facilities is apparent. Although construction planning is currently ongoing, there has been no public announcement regarding the precise completion date. Construction may require several years due to the hangar complex's scale and specialized requirements. Before bulk deliveries of the MC-21 commence, it is imperative that the facility be operational with sufficient lead time. Otherwise, airlines may encounter a maintenance bottleneck that could impact operational schedules and reliability. There are additional obstacles that could potentially impact the project. To guarantee that the facility is fully used, the production rate of MC-21 must be adequate. Any delays in certification or manufacturing could impede the deployment of the aircraft fleet. Staffing is a critical concern. It requires years to develop a workforce entirely capable of managing sophisticated aviation technologies. The logistics of obtaining spare parts and specialized tools must be optimized to mitigate disruption following operationalization. In spite of these obstacles, the project serves as an illustration of Russia's dedication to the preservation of its aviation sector amid technological transformation. It is anticipated that the construction of the hangar complex will create employment opportunities in the region. The influx of investment will generate new opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises in related sectors and contribute to local economic growth. The initiative is a fundamental component in the reinforcement of Russia's strategic autonomy in aviation on a national scale. A robust maintenance base guarantees consistent support for carriers that implement the MC-21 and diminishes their dependence on international service infrastructure. Russia is preparing for a more secure and controlled aviation future by localizing the entire aircraft operation cycle, from production to pilot training. Once the production of MC-21 reaches a higher volume, the facility will serve as one of the initial main pillars in a network of in-country service hubs. It could be expanded to other regions, the facility could potentially serve as a reference model for the ongoing development of Russia's aviation service infrastructure. In conclusion, the Sverdlovsk region's establishment of a new maintenance complex for the MC-21 
is a strategic investment in the future of Russian aviation. It helps create a modern passenger aircraft fleet, improves the country's ability to provide high-tech services, supports the training of engineers and flight staff locally, and reduces reliance on foreign companies for important tasks. The initiative has the potential to serve as a leading source of support for the development of civil aviation in Russia over the next decade if executed effectively. It will foster the growth of an ecosystem that securely integrates technology, production, training, and maintenance. This initiative underscores the aerospace sector's transition toward long-term resilience and independence, in addition to its industrial ambition. The aviation industry in Russia is transitioning to a new phase. The construction of the hangar represents the nation's strategy to ensure that its future aircraft are equipped with the necessary infrastructure for maintaining safety and efficiency. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 